What's up everybody? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to create a spinning globe effect. Uh, you can use this for like uh, news introductions or uh, sci-fi uh, animations, things like that. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open Google and find a world map uh, PNG. And the reason why I'm finding a PNG is because I want to have a transparency. So if, if I click on um, an image and then if I left click and drag it, you can see that it has a transparency on it because the um, it's showing this background when I'm dragging it. So I'm going to drag it onto my desktop and I'll go ahead and close my browser and I'm going to either drag that PNG file into Anime Studio or I can also go to File, Import, Image. And then from my desktop, just place that world map. Now this picture is, uh, since it's a PNG, it's just a, it's kind of like a JPEG, but it just has a transparency on it. Um, and normally you can't change the color, but we're going to uh, use Anime Studio to change the color to a green. So I'm going to create a new vector layer, and I'm just going to call it color. And then I'm going to select create shape. I'll use a rectangle and I'll just pick a green and I'm just going to drag it over that map. And then I'm going to create a group folder uh, because we need to use clipping uh, to make this color appear on that map. So we'll drag, left click and drag both of those, the color and the world map into this folder. And I'll just call this world color. You can call it whatever you want, but we need to have this folder so we can double click on that, hit masking and hide all and apply. And that just changes that color. Um, now we can actually change the color of the um, world map itself. So if I hit Q and select that green color, if I change it to any other color, it's going to change that map. Um, oops. So if I change this to yellow, it changes that map to yellow. Basically what it's doing is laying that color over the solid part of the PNG. So let's go back in here, choose a green. Oops. Like that. And I have an effect on here. I'm going to take that off for a second. So now we have our map. What we need to do is uh, duplicate this map because we need to have two images to make it look like it's rotating. So I'm going to resize this a little bit, make it a little bit smaller. Then I'll just hit duplicate layer and we have world color two. I'm going to hold shift down and drag it to the left or right just so we have two maps side by side and they're holding shift will make it so it's perfectly aligned. If I drag it over, you can see it overlaps perfectly. So we'll just put it over here. Oops. And now that we have both of those, I'm going to create another group and put, call it two world maps. And you'll see why we need two in just a second. Drag both of those into a folder and we're making another folder because we need to use clipping again. So clicking that group folder, we'll go ahead and move this into the, well, we don't need to move it in the center. We're going to create the uh, earth. So I'll create a new vector. I'll just call this uh, earth shape. And again, you can name it whatever you want. I'm just trying to keep it kind of organized. So now I'm going to do a create shape, select circle or the ellipse tool. And then we'll just use blue and I'm going to hold shift down. So I draw a perfect circle. And then I'm going to drag that underneath the folder because we're going to use another clipping mask. Uh, if you notice, you just you always have to use folders to create new clipping masks. So this is a clipping mask within a clipping mask within another clipping mask because we have the color um, and then the two maps and then the shape. So we'll create one more group. We'll call this uh, earth spin and we'll put that on top so we'll take our two maps and the shape of the earth drag those into that folder making sure that the earth shape is underneath 
the uh, two world maps. We'll double click that folder, masking, hide all, and hit apply. And OK. And now you can see um, that it doesn't look like it worked uh, because the uh, entire maps are showing. But you can see where the green is. That's actually the only part that's going to show. So if I hit Command R, you can see the only part that's showing is what's inside of the Earth shape. So this is just because uh, this picture is a PNG and in a preview or in the work window, uh, Anime Studio won't uh, render that transparency. So I'm going to take the click on the world maps. I'm going to go ahead and move those over and actually I'll resize it to um, the size that I want it to be. Um, let's go ahead and stretch them out too. And since they're in a folder together, they'll, they'll, they'll transform together too. So we'll go ahead and do that. We don't have to worry about the positioning. We can make it a little bit bigger. Just so it's about where you want it to be. So I'm going to hold shift down and left click and drag. And I'm going to uh, place my map right about here and I'm going to create a new vector shape uh, and I'll call this reference mark and we're going to just use this real quickly just to realign our pictures um, to make it look like the globe is spinning so I'm going to uh, use add points tool I'm gonna hold shift down and I'm just gonna draw a straight line straight up and in Anime Studio, I'm going to hit U, select that line, and hit Spacebar. I have the stroke selected, and we'll just use a black mark and hit Space. If you're in Moho, you'll need to hit Create Shape. And let me redo that again. So instead of hitting Spacebar, go ahead and hit this button, Create Shape, and it'll create a stroke. I'm going to hit T and select that stroke and then hit W and just make it really thin because I just I want to make it almost like one pixel in length or width I mean I'll hit T and I'm gonna line this up right over to the map I'm gonna use Australia and uh, just line this right next up to um, this pixel right here and then I'm gonna go into the timeline it doesn't matter where you go we'll just go to 48 real quick I'll select the two world maps, holding shift down to make sure that it only slides left to right. We'll drag this over all the way to Australia again. Let's zoom in. I'm using my mouse wheel and I'm moving it right to where it was before. And that's just so we can get the uh, animation to loop over and over to look like it's doing the same thing. So we don't need the reference mark anymore because it's lined up exactly to where we had it before. So I'll go ahead and select that and delete it. And then so the Earth, the maps are spinning at the same pace. We're going to right click the first keyframe and hit linear. And then on the second keyframe, right click and select cycle. Now when I play this animation, it's going to keep continually loop and because we use that reference mark it looks like it's just continually spinning like it's a never-ending cycle of the earth spinning around so if I go ahead and go to render I'll go ahead and export this animation I'll leave it at 240 and uh, render at half dimensions just so we can see it really quick I'll call this earth spin And that, that looks good to me. It looks like it's continually uh, spinning back uh, round and round. So by itself, that doesn't look really great, but we can go ahead and add some special effects to it just to make it look more uh, realistic in 3D. So, let me close this animation out. Okay, so to make the Earth spin slower, all you need to do is grab the um, keyframe in the animation and pull it out. And the longer the uh, cycle is, the slower the Earth will rotate. So we'll just leave that at 192 right now. So now we want to make some special effects to make this look like the real Earth, or more realistic. 
I'm going to select the bottom layer, or default layer. I'm going to double click that and call that background. And I'll do sh create shapes, triangle, or I mean a uh, <laughs> rectangle. We'll select black just so we can make space in the back. And just keep in mind the that map is not going to show when we render. So we just have that circle. So since we already have the earth shape, the circle that we want, we can just go ahead and click earth shape and click duplicate. And we'll call this uh, shadows. So we can make a little bit of um, highlights. So we'll go ahead and click that and I'm gonna hit Q and select the color. Doesn't look like it did anything, that's just because we have two of the same thing on top of each other. And I'm going to, under effects, hit uh, plane, go to gradient, and then I'm gonna select radial. And I'm going to select uh, this white color and click on it and then change the opacity. I'm just going to turn it all the way down so we can see through it. And actually I'm going to add another color right here. I'm just going to make that dark blue. Like that. Hit OK. And then grab the gradient and kind of move it up a little bit. And actually let's put this shadow on top of the world maps. And then double click it. And layer blending mode, let's do multiply and apply. And let me see, let me render that. So it's hard to see, well, you can't see it right now because, um, let me see if I can change the display quality. Yeah, you can't see it because um, we're, in, we're in the work area and it won't render under uh, the PNG. So let me do a command R just so you guys can see. So what it's doing is it, we have that light uh, fading into blue and then black. Move this a little bit more. But I also want to um, make a little bit of a highlight on this edge too. So we're going to double click um, or not double click, we'll use the earth shape, or actually, we can just do the shadows, and duplicate that, and we'll call this highlight, and we'll hit Q, I'm going to select the fill, you can't see it, again, because it's, uh, covering another one, so we're just going to turn off the fill, and turn on the stroke, and then with the, uh, eyedropper selected, we'll go ahead and hit white. So we're basically just making a white circle around the globe. I'm going to hit W and I'm going to click and drag this line over and on the other side I'm just going to make it disappear. So I'm clicking and dragging to the left. Then I'm going to hit Q, select just that stroke, and then I'll select uh, soft edge. And we're just going to turn this down to maybe, let's do five and see what that looks like and hit apply or okay. So you can't see the effect yet, but if I do a command R to render, now we've got this kind of glow around the edge of the earth. And let's double click that and change the blending mode to add and apply. So it's on top of that. So now we've got this nice little kind of glowing edge over here. Um, maybe even turn down the opacity a little bit. All right, let's render that. That looks pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> now this and the edge looks a little too hard on the edge of, of the earth. So let's go ahead and soften that. So we'll go to the earth shape. I'll hit Q. Select the earth. Um, again, you can't see that it's being selected because we have the shadow and highlight above it. Let's turn those off so you can see it. So if I select that, it turns checkered like that. We'll go ahead and select the effect. We'll do soft edge. And we'll turn that down. We'll just do like, we'll say two and hit okay. 
turn the effects back on. And then let's do soften the shadow too. So shadows, hit Q, select that. We'll do a second effect. It has the gradient in it already, but we'll do soft edge also and then do two on that. And then render, command R. Now it's got kind of a glow around the um, edge of the earth. Um, let's render this out really quick. Export animation. Actually, let's do the earth spin. <clears throat> let's make it a little faster. Again, just so we can see it. I'll drag it back to 48 and we'll do an export animation. We'll leave it at 240. Earth spin 2. So now it looks way more 3D. And it was done really easily with just a few of uh, the effects that are with Anime Studio and um, a world map. And that's about it. Let me... Oh, I also wanted to point out too that since everything's inside this Earth Spin animation, we can actually... Let me reset. I'm going to put the point of origin right on the middle of the Earth. And then we can um, grab the edge and zoom out. And then go to frame 120 or something and then make it bigger. So now we have an animation of not only the Earth spinning, but actually moving uh, forward in space. Um, and you can actually come in here and since that point of origin is right there, let's go ahead and do this. I'll go to frame 1. I'm actually going to rotate it. A little bit and then on frame 120 we'll turn it so it's right on uh, the correct axis then now now we have the earth turning and let's render that one more time earth spin three so it's gonna start out really small it's going to get bigger and rotate as well. And... There it is. Okay. So we have it really small in the background. You can see it's rotating and then spinning like that. And that's it. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, just leave them down below and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.